Many adults, when they were youngsters in the fourth and fifth grades, we were introduced to the division algorithm. Today, our students are learning how to do division through a new method called partial quotients. You might see your students look at the same division problem and tackle it using a different method. This method's partial quotients. They'll start by drawing a long vertical line at the end of their division problem. And they'll say, I know that 121s is 2100. So they'll write 100 here and 2100 here. 100 21s is 2100. And then they'll subtract. I'll say I'm left with, okay, 242. And then they might say, well, I know that 10 21s is 210. And then they'll subtract again. And they're left with 32. And they'll say, well, I know that 121 is 21. I know that 21 doesn't go into 11, so I'm all done. They'll look at the partial quotients that we have here. 100 plus 10 plus 1 is 111. And they're left with a remainder of 11. So they get the same answer that they got with long division, just going through a slightly different process. Partial quotients might be different from what you're used to seeing, but it also might be easier for your student to divide.